Hi, I'm going to show a demo where I'm going to run the VESC 6 with a few quite difficult motors. So um, this one is a 6 pole in runner with some kind of dynamite brand, 1200 kV rating. And I'm using the power supply, the ASCOM power supply over there that supplies uh, 45 volts right now, as you can see. Let's see, connect and switch on real-time data, as you can see over here. And uh, with this kind of uh, voltage, the ERPM should be able to reach uh, well above 100,000 ERPM. So to debug some of those things, I implemented some new sampling modes. I'm going to show them real quickly. First, I have to configure this motor. So let's do that. Motor setup wizard. And uh, yes, we can load the default configuration, FOC. And uh, yeah, be careful with the current limits. Leave the defaults for now, no battery setup, no sensor, and measure things. Flux linkage. I'm going to degrees due to cycle a bit because otherwise it's going to spin almost a bit too fast for BLDC with this power, su power supply. And uh, yeah, let's leave it at that first. Yeah, it didn't really spin up. Let's increase the ERPM a bit. Yeah, it spun up, but it didn't really reach enough speed, so I think it needs a bit more current. Let's try 10 amps. Sounds better. Yeah, there we go. So in order to do the tweaks, which you have to do for some difficult motors, you can uh, click to question marks and uh, read all the text. It can show you some tips what to do if it doesn't work on the first try. Apply the settings, next and finish. Switch on keyboard control. And uh, for, uh, for a lot of debugging here, in the sample plot, I implement some triggered plotting modes. And triggered means that uh, it will sample all the time, wait for some kind of event, and then sample for a while after that event. For example, this trigger will trigger when the motor starts. So now it's sampling. And when I push the arrow key, it should try to start. And then you can see first we had no current. And then at this point, it tries to start the motor. We can also trigger this when the motor is running. And it's actually only triggers when the motor has uh, is driven and not when it's undriven. So let's spin it up. And you can see that here we have some, uh, well, let's switch off the vertical zoom. And then we can see that the observer is tracking. You have to go to the back EMF window to see that, well, it uses the voltage to track. First we have uh, no currents and just the back EMF. And then we switch on modulation. And at this point, we go from tracking the voltages from the ADC to tracking the voltages that we put into the PWM. And you can see that the position tracking works smoothly through this transition. And I've been using this to figure out, uh, well, why I got some really high current spikes when uh, switching on and off commutation in FOC mode, especially when running motors at very high ERPM levels. I'm using the arrow keys now. Yeah, something happened there. Yeah, that's probably because we have an ERPM limit at 100,000, which is the default value. So go to general. RPM and set this to 200,000 positive and negative limits. And let's see how fast the motor goes now. Yeah, something happened there. Over voltage. We could try to uh, switch a bit faster. Let's see, 30 kilohertz. Yeah, 150,000 ERPM. That's quite a lot for FOC. So now we have another motor plugged in here. It is a Scorpion Ultimate something motor, 520 kV. And uh, it's also a 14 pole motor like most other Altrunners are. And we have it still plugged in to 55, no, 45 volts. 
So let's try to do a detection with the motor set of wizard and see if we can get this one running. Load default configuration, FOC. Uh, default current limits. No, actually let's increase those a bit now. Let's say 80 amps. No battery limits, sensorless. And uh, also for this motor I have to decrease the dude cycle now because it has very high KV and I don't want to spin it too fast when doing detection. So yeah, first resistance inductance. Works, flux linkage. Works, apply, next and finish. We can use a bit lower current on this one. So a few new settings that we have for FOC or one important setting is that we can choose to sample in V0 and V7 for, uh, well, when running a hardware that has phase shunts. And uh, this actually helps Actually, that's quite scary. I don't want to run it any faster in my hand. So, some new features to implement for uh, in general are DRV A2301 settings for the current limits. It has uh, built in current limiting, and you can adjust at which level to will limit the current. So, now we have the default value and the default mode, which is limiting. And if I hold the motor right now and go to real time data and try to start it with the arrow keys, wrong tab let's see should go to the current tab you can see it goes about to 80 amps or so so uh, let's decrease this setting a little bit and see what happens now we have 16 you have to look at the uh, data sheet to see what it actually does it's not that accurate but at least it will measure the voltage drop on every mosfet and uh, if it goes too high on any of the fast it will uh, limit the duty cycle on that one so let's set it to say 10. Go to real time data. Yeah, so much lower current and it makes a really weird noise. So another mode that we can use is uh, that we can keep it at 10 and we can say that at uh, overcurrents, it will not just limit current, it will shut everything down with the fault code. So let's set that mode, right configuration. And now we can actually see, go to the real-time data, and we can trigger the plot at faults. So let's do that. Let's try to start the motor. And you can see that uh, here we started modulation, and at some point here, we reached too much current, and then we got the fault code. And if we go to the terminal and print faults, we can see that uh, we got the DRV fault code. And actually it reads out all the fault calls right now. And the code now is that we have a fault and we have an overcurrent on uh, low side FAT B. So we can go to terminal and reset this fault. And then we should be ready to run again. So this has been quite useful for yeah, for debugging the FOC. For example, uh, when starting, when the motor is uh, like spinning quite fast already, and we try to pick it up with starting, then it usually draws quite a lot of current. And by triggering a fault code when that happens, we can uh, well see exactly what's going on at that instant. So let's trigger it at false again, and see if we can make this happen. Yeah, there we go. At the current, we can see that here we're tracking on voltage. Here we started. The observer tracks quite well, and we reach something like 40 amps. And we can also reset that. So we can reset the fault and switch off the latch mode again. Turn it back to the default value. And uh, it should limit the current again, but not generate any fault codes. And uh, now let's increase it to Let's say the default value of 16.
yeah, so now it doesn't limit the current. This should catch uh, most of those uh, problems before anything uh, catches fire or uh, the DRV dies or something like that. Now, I have been experimenting quite a lot with this uh, feature switch off. And uh, even then, I haven't uh, fried any components yet. So this is a free flight Hero RC car. They gave it to me earlier this year when they invited me over to Seattle. And uh, they usually use it for carrying cameras. I put some custom circuit boards on it for uh, running an autopilot and uh, a Raspberry Pi for running RTK lib to get the uh, RTK GPS correction. It has an antenna in the back for GPS. I'm going to show that in another video with the OpenStreetMap overlay and everything, but in this video I'm going to show how the VESC 6 works on it. So it has a Castle 2028 motor and uh, it's configured for running FOC and the current limit is set at 110 amps. The DRV current limit is also active but it's uh, quite set quite high so I don't think it will have an impact in this video. So first we'll plug it in. Get some terrible noise from the steering server, I don't really know why. It doesn't do that with uh, the custom circuit board. So, first I'm going to drive slowly. Works nicely. And uh, the new startup algorithm with FOC doesn't give uh, almost no any delay when taking off. So, let's try to give it uh, a full acceleration without any ramping or so, so the current will go from 0 to 110 amps in just an instant. That was close. So you can see that you have uh, quite a lot of power and also lots of control. And uh, since this Kessel 2028 motor can run up to 12 cells, I think it's running 4 cells now because that's what I have. But since it can run up to 12 cells, it will get, get a top speed of uh, well over 100 km an hour with this gearing. So the VESC 6 is really nice for RC cars as well. Let's give it another spin. Yeah, works nicely. So that was my demo for today. This time I used Blender for doing a bit of editing, so hopefully it wasn't as boring as watching my other videos. Thanks for watching.